Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what we're going to be actually covering is a specific guide on long-term development and what some key features of what you should probably focus on when you're actually working on a mod long-term. So the first thing that I came up with was basically pick one major thing to work on in a update. So this has a few different benefits of working on a specific major feature and uh, obviously if you limit on how much you actually work on in a update you're going to save a lot more time and be able to focus more on bug fixing and stuff like that. But uh, focusing on a major update also has some other ben benefits. For example, you can make your um, mod update friendly name. So something like if you're working on a um, automated um, farming block, then you could do like something like the farming update or something like that. Um, that's not really a creative name, but <laughs> uh, you can always do something focused. You can name your update more focused around that particular uh, major update feature. So the other thing is it saves a lot more time and uh, saves the complexity of having to go through all the testing and stuff if you focus on just one major thing per update. It also allows for smaller updates so you don't necessarily need to put so much time in so uh, huge of an update for multiple things because that's going to take a lot longer the more things you have but if you work on one major thing per update then it will save a lot of time for testing for um, actually developing and it will also save a lot of um, come up with a few other perks like n names and stuff like that too. One of the uh, other things is try to improve existing features as you go. So maybe in one of the major updates that you come out with uh, you can probably implement some other features in some of the other existing parts of your mod. For example, a recent thing that I've uh, done with one of my own mods is I've basically taken a um, block for basically permissions and ownership and I'm slowly integrating it into the existing machines. So uh, the, the machines actually are connected to the new block that I'm adding. So support needs to be added to those. This would basically be improving existing uh, features for from the um, uh, past ex existing mod that I have. So you can always do it that way. You can do smaller things, not as complex, but uh, always improving things, even if it's even just the resources for uh, some of the blocks, it's still an improvement over all. So uh, definitely focus on improving things in your updates as well. Uh, this just makes it better in the long term for actually developing something and um, it will turn out a lot better if you go back and improve it, things that you had previously even if you uh, don't think that they need it it's always a good idea to try to improve it regardless and then maybe you'll come up with some new ideas later on in the future as well this next one is actually really important for getting your mod um, brand out there. So for example, uh, promoting your update whenever possible. Now obviously there is some restrictions on what you can do with this. Uh, for example, not every site on the internet will allow for promotion and uh, a lot of forums have some rules that you have to follow when you're actually promoting things. Uh, some valid sites that you can actually go and post on for mods would be, um, I believe Minecraft Forms is allowed. You can actually post your mods there. You might be able to post um, updates on your mod page if you post your mod there. Um, Planet Minecraft might be an option. You would have to look into that yourself, but it definitely check to see if the rules allow you for posting updates and stuff for your mod content. They might have a mod section on their site for that. Uh, M Creator, you can post uh, news on your updates. Uh, obviously, you can use YouTube, GitHub, and uh, other social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and um, 
you know, other things like that to actually promote your mod as well. So uh, you can actually use YouTube videos to promote your mod and showcase the changes that you've done in the update. Uh, this will not only uh, be able to be posted in a shorter link on a some of these other sites, but it will also help promote your channel as well and your mod at the same time. So uh, again, just make sure that you follow the form rules and this is important because we don't really want many issues with people saying that mCreator is bad because their community basically comes and posts X on our site to promote X. So basically just try to read the rules, make sure that you follow them and um, you should be good. Uh, the next thing that I have is keep an active log when you are working on new features. So basically, uh, it's important to do that because uh, when you get to your final change log, it uh, can be really hard to remember uh, certain things that you've actually changed in the update, especially if you've taken a couple weeks to a month to actually come out with the update. Um, updates aren't designed to be short at all a lot of the time for an update goes from working on the mod or whatever and then you have your testing period and fixing period and then finally testing after that to make sure everything is fixed so there's a lot of um time that goes by and it's easy to forget what is done in the whole time that you've actually gone and worked on the mod so keeping a active log while you're developing even if it's on a text document on your computer is uh, really important so you can refer to that later in when you're creating your change log uh, this is really important obviously because you can refer to it and keeping a change log is important so other people know the things that are changed in the version and it gives you a reference point uh, when you're creating uh, your next update and stuff what changes have been made the next thing is don't put too much features into one update things can easily break and uh, te more testing is actually needed if you have a lot more content in each update uh, like I said before, focus on one major thing. This will save a lot of time. And uh, you can focus on the rest to be improvements or smaller features like adding certain blocks for decoration, uh, maybe some tools or things like that. But don't focus on huge mechanic changes all in one update. Kind of spread that out between updates. Uh, this will save you a lot of time in the long end and also expand your development process in the long term and now there is no particular rush to get your mod out as fast as possible part of the time part of the actual art form of creating mods is basically having a continual cycle of developing them so it's not just focused on getting a certain update out it's continuing those updates and making sure that you build a fan base around your mod it's not so much just for people to use it because it's not the intended purpose of mods in general it's actually the development cycle and adding features and the long-term development and you know the people that start off in the mod will actually be there long term and then actually you'll start to build a fan base based on your mod itself so that's why it's important to continue development and kind of space out your updates and major features and you know all your um not putting so much time into one particular update. Smaller updates are a lot better so you can get out more features on a time timingly fashion. And the last thing that I actually have to cover is basically test before you release. Uh, like I said in a little bit earlier on, uh, there was like a certain system to that I used to basically test um for the new features i not only test while i am implementing them but then i do a final test at the end of the development cycle i usually leave about 25 to 33 percent of the time for testing of the um, actual development and then if there's any issues then i go back to fixing them and then i test again after to make sure that i don't come across anything uh, this is good for filtering out any 
potential bugs. Not everything gets caught in this particular cycle. Um, there will be times that you will have to come out with a patch shortly after an update, but it does help lower the amount of bugs and errors uh, with your mod when you first release. So, uh, for example, with one of my recent mods that I worked on, I've um, discovered a fatal error uh, while going through the testing period, and um, I was able to fix that before the actual major release. So there is a good reason to test and thoroughly test things in your update uh, before you release it so you can actually make it a little bit more stable and playable for your community as well. So hopefully you guys found today's tutorial uh, useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I might not be able to reply uh, to everyone. I am not really active in the comment section too often. But uh, sometimes I go back and check the videos and I'll read some of the other comments and reply to some people. But um, if not, then someone might be able to help you in the community and answer your questions for sure. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.